Yeah. Good evening uh, for everybody just to join us. Um, BBC News Pigeon did live for um, the MQ Abiola Stadium inside uh, Nigeria capital Abuja. Um, earlier today, we'll be done showing uh, how the Ghana team take land for um, the state uh, for the airports. But now, we don't carry Waka come the stadium proper where the match go hold, and then the Super Eagles they hold their final training session ahead of tomorrow crucial World Cup qualifier against um, Ghana. If you just join us, we did for the MQ Abiola Stadium for Abuja. Um, as you see in front of us, now the Super Eagles players, we don't come back from their trip to Kumasi where they draw 0-0. Zero, zero. The Super Eagles don't waste time. That ninth, that ninth, where they play 0-0. Zero, zero. Now that same ninth, they return back to, um, to Abuja where they don't hold training yesterday and also day before yesterday where they do rec recovery section. Now, they hold their final training session before um, tomorrow match. After this training session, the coach and maybe one of the players will talk to press and also Ghana too go train later this evening here for this stadium and then too their coach will also attend um, the press conference. So BBC Pigeon, we come to the stadium to witness what they happen for here and also to show on and say, true, true, the build up done the sets for that crucial World Cup qualifier. Uh, for my screen, I don't see Leo Balogu. I don't see Zedu Sanusi, I don't see Ola Oino, I don't see um, Emmanuel Denis, Kelechi Hanacho, Victor Osime, and Sadiq Kumar. Um, and then they for screen, so way they see. So they just, they just they do light training ahead of that game. Um, if you know watch us before, when we'll be covered the live uh, arrival of the Ghana team, we've been talking, say, the media would be allowed 15 minutes to see what thing they happen for the training and then they could come tell us, say, Moku match break, so that the feed do close those session. Um, after this session, we will also go live again when Ghana will come train for this speech for the very first time. We will also show on when um, the press conference go hold. Hopefully, the audio quality will be very good for inside there, for now to hear every, every way the coach and at least one of the players will go present themselves for there, go talk to on uh, make on a hear for herself within the coach, the plan, and how you respond to questions where journalists go ask them. Um, make I tell them, like, give on a small background about the match tomorrow. So the first leg ends 0 0 for Kumasi, um, and also a way go rule they had play for FIFA competition, unlike where uh, UEFA tournaments where they don't scrap them. So for FIFA competition, a way go rule they had play. That one means, say, if Ghana, for example, draw 1 1 here, it means, say, Ghana will progress. If Ghana play 2 2 or any score draw here, it means say Ghana go progress on our way go rule. For Nigeria to qualify, Nigeria need to beat their hands down either 1 0 to 0 to 1 by any margin of victory. Um, that one then go see Nigeria progress to the next round. We be the proper, proper tournament. Uh, Where it will happen for Qatar. Um, so, as you just join us, if you drop your own. Uh, prediction of how you see the game tomorrow and if you also talk about uh, who you would like to see make his stats um, ahead of uh, that match tomorrow typically the coaches and the teams they name their lineups at least one hour before uh, the match will start so tomorrow as well BBC News Pigeon will give on a, a live text update for our website of the match as it they happen minutes by minute blue by blue accounts uh, we go also do pretty much live from outside the stadium where we go talk to fans too. Uh, as we they come stadium today from the airport, we see even some Ghanaians who don't also arrive for Abuja, and even alongside Ghanaian journalists too. We don't uh, they don't show face for years for to tell you say yes, then to come to support their team and also to report to the way they happen for here. Um, also, BBC News Pigeon go do live radio commentary of the match as BBC itself, now official radio broadcaster of this particular match. Um, so, uh, broadcast good day live on your favorite partner stations. We go day live on Naja FM, we go day live for um, Trend FM, and some other stations across the country. Um, those are areas where you feel watch, you feel read, and you feel also listen to uh, our live. Uh, reports and how we take cover the match between Nigeria 
and Ghana. Um, the match itself proper go hold by 6 p.m. Nigerian time and 5 p.m. Ghana time. Um, I go repeat them again. The match now 6 p.m. Nigeria time and 5 p.m. Ghana time. Um, so before that time, we go don't go live on radio around 5:30. Our website go done the bubble too with some uh, live updates of uh, how things be. Pictures also of how things be for uh, for stadium here. Um, this now the MKO Abiola Stadium, the venue we go host Nigeria versus Ghana. I go repeat this again. Waiting be the permutation where they are play for each team to qualify. For Nigeria to qualify, they need to beat Ghana by any margin. Maybe 2 0, 1 0, 3 0. Maybe they just ensure see they win. They go qualify as one of the African teams we uh, go represent, uh, as one of the countries we go represent Africa for the FIFA tournament proper for Qatar 2022. For Ghana to progress, for Ghana to progress, Ghana go need at least get score draw. Ghana go need get at least um, score draw for them to progress to the next round. But um, more could they see uh, we'll, before we come to the stadium, we don't.